What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa and this is the biggest entertainment show, as you know, where we make your entertainment life a lot easier by breaking down the trending stories in the world of entertainment. My name is Ifeolua Oshike and I'm here with a classy Ifeolmai and the one of a kind, Nimi Dekombi. What's good guys? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I'll take that. Okay. It's very diplomatic. Very. Mm. I'll accept it mm. for today. Mm -hmm. It's fine. How are you guys doing though? How's well, it? how are you? Not bad, leaving. No, that's a win. Isn't it? <laughs> that's a win. Yeah. Right? It is yeah. a win at this yeah, we're at this leaving. At this point, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're in July, guys. I know. Good. Mm. First this half year is like so long. Mm-hmm. Like Everybody I didn't, I didn't say happy new month. I didn't say happy new month. I didn't wish anybody happy new month because it just felt like we are just stuck in like one train that keeps on going, mm. so it doesn't feel like we're having track a break. Of time and mm. yeah. and all of that. Exactly. So it's just like we're just leaving. Let's exactly. just let's just get through this. This mm. too shall pass. Mm. That kind of thing. I'm just looking forward to 2021. I'm That's hoping I that I, what we're looking forward to will be what we expect because. Yeah, true. Just the way this thing slapped us, it might just slap us again in 2021, but I'm hoping that that's not the case. Or oh, the struggle of 2021 may be overbearing. What do you, you mean? Know. Yeah, like, yeah, struggle. exactly. Right now you have to meet up with a lot of things you lost in 2020. In 2020. So the struggle may be times two, times three. I don't know how it should be times two without, with, without COVID-19 in the picture. If COVID-19 is not in the picture, I'm okay. What if, what if there's the another pandemic? No, ha. maybe not for you. What about people that have been jobless that 2021, 2022 is at the years that they would have to go and start searching for jobs and start looking for new ways to make a make. I think they should start now. Over again. They should start they should now. Not wait to mm -hmm. I need to employ them now. They, they, people they are being employed, maybe. fam. Exactly. Mm. People are being employed. Amazing stuff, then. So let's just move on while we let people get employed. Mm -hmm. Bibi Niger's Kaffee appeals for help over the identity of a brother's killers. On a case that has been tagged a mistaken identity and saw Big Brother Niger star Kaffee's brother shot shortly after he left the store by unidentified persons in a white Range Rover. Kaffee herself was a Metropolitan Police Officer and a second justice for a brother. This is very disturbing, but I'll let you guys do justice to this. Mm. Uh, I saw the video with the family yeah. and it brought me to tears. Yeah, it did. It was so heartbreaking. Yeah, it was a lot to take in. Mm. Uh, um, when the brother said, uh, you know, two things. When the brother said... Um, People know. Yeah no, yeah, no, he said his family will never be the same again, mm. one. And then when Kaffee said, yeah, it's common that a lot of black boys die, but he's it's not just a black, black boy. boy. Exactly. Like, and I think It's not just a statistic. Yes, and I think sometimes re people really forget that, you know, these numbers are people, yeah. like people that have an impact in a, lot of, in, a lot, in a lot more people's lives. So even with COVID, for example, when you see a hundred and something people have an answer, yeah. and the numbers are small, it's like a hundred and something families and friends and spread those numbers out to people who've been affected by the death. But going back to Kathy, I'm really, really sorry. I really do hope that somebody will say something because I know they're witnesses, but would there be witnesses who will come out and say, I saw this person at this place and blah, 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 especially with the whole snitch culture. That's mm. why I can't really stand that thing. Mm. But with the whole snitch culture as well, it's going to be really hard to be able to see that happening. But I hope and pray for closure. And for I'm, I, I don't think you can move on from yeah, that. Exactly. But, I don't think you can really have closure from that kind but of But yeah, just a way to just, I guess, mourn healthily. Yeah. Yeah. Even if the killer is caught, in my opinion, it'll still be a case of somebody's dead, somebody's gone forever. So there's no way you can ever bring that person back. But surely after. getting the killer yeah. would bring some yeah, type some of closure. Yeah. 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 I think so, for me, what was very interesting was what Kathy said when she said that she joined the police force to try to contribute to, to a change, to put an mm. end to stuff like that happening. And then it's happening to somebody that is a like somebody that is it's not like a cousin yeah our own brother so i i really feel for her I'm, I'm 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 empathizing with her it's like you're a black lives matter activist you're fighting against the problem and then that same problem yeah. that you are trying mm. to shed a light on is affecting like it just brings it a little bit closer yeah. to home and it, I, I i learned a lesson from that actually mm. that at the end of the day it's very easy for you to just stay away from something or stay away from a problem and feel like oh it's affecting somebody else yeah. but then the truth is you don't it's know. not just exactly 
exactly you don't know at least she was trying to fight against that problem yeah you can just be like, oh racism doesn't affect me but the truth is it might not affect you it might affect somebody else that is mm. maybe related to you it just made me realize that instead of once again looking at people as statistics whenever you hear about a problem you need to realize that they are human beings mm. and that is a human problem yeah. instead of just looking at it as something that is vague it's something that can affect anybody it can affect you it can affect your family member so that was just one thing that i took away from the entire story i, I think cannot imagine would... how she would feel yeah because she recognized the problem she wanted to be a part of the change and then that same problem still affected her family and this That's guy painful. was set to go study it in September, yeah he was a very intelligent boy away. he was a computer wheel, imagine so dying for being wrongly identified talking yeah. about like being at the wrong place at the wrong, wrong time. time it's, it's crazy and on the flip side baby Nigeria is trending for something and it was you see yeah. how life is so balanced like yeah. she's supposed to be you know even if it's video call i don't think she'll be able to attend those reunions live but mm -hmm. she's supposed to be talking about lightweight things and gidoni and, and she and even had a little bit of a drama with the old bb niger because i think they said that they removed her from Did they? Yeah, from yeah, the from, from the, the group chat. So she already had that, you know, was issue that with them. Was no, it coffee or Diane? Diane I, think it? It was, I think it was coffee. I think she already had that issue with um with them, and then this now happened to mm. her. So I, I hope that our big brother Niger Coasters are also, you know, throwing in their weight and being there for her during mm. this very very sad time. I mean, put yeah, away I went, the beef, I went to the put away the drama. Yeah, she needs people. A lot of celebrities are actually behind her, and then they're just um, not just celebrities. Them. The people that no, I, I mean, like a lot. No, I'm talking about the people that are really close to her are sending mm -hmm. their condolences and you can tell mm -hmm. that they're actually there and there's a ten thousand dollar um ten thousand pounds bounty on mm -hmm. whoever catches the killer so this is quite sad and i just yeah. hope that our heart goes out to cafe actually mm -hmm. and i just mm -hmm. hope um, in this time of um trauma and pain for the family they're able to overcome this mm -hmm. even though it's it's a permanent scar but yeah. i just hope they're strong enough to overcome this and i hope they get justice mm -hmm. i hope they do important. yeah that's the very that's the most important thing yeah. so let's move on to the next story r.i.p to kathy's brother like once again lola okoye peter okoye's wife has finally spoken up after her husband peter revealed that they tested positive to covid19 just i think a week ago um watch this video i want to take this opportunity to thank everybody that reached out um during this horrible covid experience um, I don't wish it upon my worst enemy and I need to let everybody know that COVID is real. It is real. I suffered. I was in so much pain. I watched my family go through it and I don't, I really don't wish this upon my worst enemy. Please, we need to do better. We need to social distance better. We need to make sure that we wash our hands all the time. We need to sanitize. We need to just make sure that we stay away from crowds. It's very important. A lot of people are asymptomatic and um, they have it and you don't know and they pass it on. Thank you so much for everybody that prayed for us, for your love, for the care packages, for the food, for the pastors who prayed for us. Thank you so much. We love you and we appreciate you. Mm, so, if I, I think this is for you because when we discussed the story, you said you wish they can tell us how the healing process was yeah. and how difficult it was for yeah. them. I think yeah. I think when I saw this video, what came across my mind is that uh, is this, I keep mixing Peter and Paul. I'm just gonna say Mr. P. What well, Mr. P's personality? Yeah, Peter is Mr. P. Yeah, yeah. P, yeah. P, it's, Peter well, is I mean, Mr. P. It would be could be Mr. Paul either. They're both both P's. Not help, <laughs> that's Paul not helpful. Is rude boy. <laughs> Mr. P is not helpful. Is, um, is that uh, what's the word? His personality kind of distracted that video he made mm. because I think he was doing more fine boy and swag and not really it saying much. Serious. Yes, it didn't really seem um thing because this this one for me uh, opinion this one for me is a lot more real. Like yeah. you faced a virus that it. was bad. Not you didn't like you're not trying to announce your new song, which mm. is what that video could have looked like. Like um you know she gave a lot more insights and I guess. I don't know. I just felt like, okay, this girl did experience what she was saying. And I, I believed him anyway, despite the fact that he was a bit lavish. I believed him. I just wanted more details. And not because I needed it, but I just felt like celebrities have been coming out to explain this virus thing. And they, I feel like they're contributing to the idea that it's a conspiracy because of how lavish they make the announcement sure. look. Mm -hmm. So if you're a lot more human about it, then 
you won't be adding to that problem of like, oh, guys, don't be lying. You are chilling. You look fine type of thing. Mm -hmm. I think for this woman to come out and say the way she did, it really helped that um, doubt process. So I I'm glad that she did. I'm really, really sorry that they had to go through that. I mean, I haven't had anyone that close to me have mm -hmm. coronavirus. True. I don't say yet. Coronavirus, period. <laughs> but um, I can imagine what that's like, especially when you're having, um, adding your kids into that because you don't know how each human being is going to react to the virus. It could be a mild case. It could be a severe case. Mm. And I can imagine that that was a bit hard for them to like experience but yeah. i'm glad that they're feeling better I, I i think for me once again this contributes to the fact because i know that um, mr p of p square <laughs> has a huge fan base of the mm. defunct space uh, whatever <laughs> <laughs> he has a huge fan base and there are still whether you like it or not there are still a lot of people who think that coronavirus is a conspiracy theory so if somebody I like that this morning to mm. be honest like every single time i hear that coronavirus is not real so for someone like mr p who has a huge fan base to come out to say that oh i have coronavirus i mean most of the people that we have heard that had coronavirus, most of them were either politicians or, you know, socialites. But when we see, like, celebrities that are loved by many and have huge platforms like this, if they come out and say, oh, I'm not saying that most of them should have. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that when they come out to share their stories yeah. in case they did have... Um, it, it would help people to actually take the virus more seriously. Yeah. Not when... You know, we've seen so many celebrities, for, an, um, for example, Naira Mali, who has, you know, not really made people believe yeah. that coronavirus is real. But if you have more celebrities who are coming up and who are sharing their stories, if they have, or if they know somebody who has coronavirus, mm. and let people know that, okay, you know what, this virus is very real. We need to keep on taking precautions. There are very, very few that are still, you know, doing that. I'm very sorry to the P Square family that, or to the Mr. P family that they had to go through this. Mm. Um, one thing that I noticed that anybody that has experienced the virus, everything they keep on saying is they don't wish it upon their enemy, mm. that it is a very, very, you know, tablet time for them but then people always say that it's a like if that is the mild case mm. Gianna, like, if it is the mild case mm -hmm. and they are not wishing it so what's the severe so case now what like is yeah. severe, severe case, now case like? is when you need, need the oxygen mask no, no we get we get that i'm just saying like the feeling is what we're saying like mm -hmm. if your if your case was even mild Qu categorized moderate. mild but, but and you are saying how you that feel it was when so you have a bad flu this you know doesn't sound terrible. like it a doesn't sound bad like you're no, not I'm just saying you know how anything. bad that is when you have a bad flu. Now imagine something worse than a bad flu. Mm. Okay, sure. That's and just it, what maybe it is. because of the fact that it's like for a long period, period of time, time. Yeah, 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 fever yeah, yeah, and all of that. It just sounds very me, scary. It, it does sound it just makes scary. me feel scared. That's why I'm a bit worried about the fact that we keep opening up more borders and now travel is happening. The travel one really frightens me. And they're planning to reopen schools. And we recorded about seven over seven. 700 cases of new cases just between yesterday and today. It makes me wonder what our leaders are doing. Like, are they looking at the numbers when they are like reviewing the whole yeah. lockdown procedure? Again, they are just and, 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 and then we need to also realize that those numbers are not even accurate because they are yeah. not, they are They're not under testing, testing everybody. They are under testing, so it's already bad enough. So those numbers are not accurate. But I still went into the comment section and I saw what people were saying about Lola saying that um, the the, she still had the few ties being used and oh, all of that, so that and all. Oh. But you know, Nigerians people, that's how it is. But we have to go on a quick break, and tea time continues right after this break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, sleeping early. Sleeping early.
Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Nigerian actress Ireti Doi has dropped the opinion on Twitter as she wrote, with the exception of a few small but mighty spaces truly out here doing the Lord's work, Twitter NG is very rarely about justice. It is about destruction. No this, no peace, and tread accordingly. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you face like that? I disagree. I agree and I disagree. Yeah. I know that Twitter is I think you need to know how to manage Twitter, exactly. your space on mm. Twitter. Mm -hmm. You need to know what to put out there. Of course, if you put out something stupid, people will drag you. Yeah. Uh, yes, there are exactly. different mm -hmm. fa facets of Twitter. There is serious Twitter and then there is the toxic side of Twitter where mm. everybody is just looking for something against somebody. And you know that they are just mm. there for the drama. Mm. But then we cannot take away the fact that there are a lot of positive yeah. sides of Twitter, the reason, especially when it comes to the rape conversation. The, mm -hmm. the, re the reason why I don't really agree to that is because I've never really seen power and unity and like impactful negativity. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that. Like I haven't seen negativity thrive so much that is influential and it's changing games. I see that with positive movements. True. I see that with people seeking justice. I see that for the oppressed. I see that for people who didn't have a voice naturally, yeah. who are not mm -hmm. celebrities, who are nobodies. So when I saw this tweet, <laughs> my what came to my mind is that sis, is this is there something maybe you were wrong? Because usually people who don't enjoy Twitter are yeah, those are who, people who are <laughs> yes, who think <laughs> who that they, they can come online and say horrible things to people and or, get away with it. yes or you're not sensitive enough or we just don't value your morals like we don't agree to your rationale or sometimes in your person like your personal life we don't value that we don't like what you stand for you think you're part of the oppressors so mm. we then drag you on social media um, and that's what i see on twitter for the majority yes. because if i had to say twitter ng she's made it very specific to twitter and i don't see twitter, twitter as a place that has more negativity than say social um, whatsapp or instagram or you do get what i mean like it's not like twitter is a lot more toxic yeah. so if you're experiencing that then check to your be space. honest i actually yeah. don't understand where she's coming from because if you look at instagram and twitter for celebrities and influencers instagram is where they thrive yeah. When you go to the comment section of, love, of, love, of love. It's, it's all love, positivity. Ha, ha, ha. Oh my God, Auntie, you're looking beautiful, blah, blah, blah. Even if what the person wrote does not make sense. Yes. Even if the person does not make sense, you will see the love. But on Twitter, oh, man, no, nobody cares. <laughs> Twitter streets is nobody, like, the, yeah. these streets are, you know, so I think that that's the reason why. A lot, isn't, she's not the only, I'm so sure she's not the only celebrity that does not like Twitter. Yeah. A lot of celebrities don't like Twitter because on Twitter, nobody cares about your celebrity status. I, I think they will say it as it is. Yes. yes, everybody's accountable for whatever it, it is that Just gave me an example of Solomon, that boy that, came, on Twitter, people came out and said he was molesting boys and he was molesting raping i don't know whoever Sha -sha yeah. molesting people and never and everything and it was a lot of receipts came mm. Mm -hmm. and the guy went off instagram he, for a while. he went off twitter for a while he went off social media for social a while he didn't even while. respond and say guys oh he didn't uh, even kidnap he did anyone not he did not arrest anyone nah he didn't say anything and then he went to instagram and was said a nice picture like boy fresh boy whatever everyone in the comment sections are like love love love, 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 love. Heart, welcome heart, back heart. Sunshine, what was right. twitter doing twitter, twitter was, was waiting dragging. for him to come so they can drag him and continue from where they started. So yeah. for me, it's a place where accountability yeah. happens. True. And if you don't want that, if you're going to tweet something that's meaningless and you don't want people to accuse you or like, not accuse you, but challenge that, yeah. then Twitter is not for you. And again, I want to say that Twitter is another space where I feel like Nigerians are able to have honest conversations yeah. about what is going on in the country, about mm. things that they would like to see change. And I hate it whenever people keep on saying that they don't get the point of people ranting on Twitter. Uh, there are so many changes that have yeah. been made from Twitter conversations, whether yeah. you like it or not, the fact that the Senate had to review their rape bill was because some people were making noise on, on Twitter. Twitter. It was because something was trending on Twitter. Yeah. So I don't really like it when people try to like downplay yeah. you know, the role of Twitter activists or people or femin <laughs> feminist Twitter. I e don't... Feminist. You know, I really feel mm. like as you know, people don't really understand the, the power Yeah, I like that, that you Twitter brought that has. up because I've actually been in a, a thread that till tomorrow sometimes I look at and I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm kind of proud about that moment yeah. because I think it was about Shaitan and Dibanji's conversation and he kept saying like, let's give, let's trust him, let's trust him, let's just imagine, just imagine mm -hmm. like that he's whatever and I, obviously at first, feminist instincts, I, <laughs> and then after a while he kept pushing like, no, but this is the reason why he's having that and then we genuinely started, started to have a conversation oh, yeah. and it, it was a teaching moment for me to be able to say, why do you need to make so much effort in imagining somebody is telling the truth 
over believing the story that has already existed. So mm -hmm. once that happens, that her story has been debunked, then we'll switch over to, to that. But for now, the first thing to do is try and comfort the victim. Mm -hmm. And I don't think people really, I don't think he genuinely knew that. Like, he didn't think about it that way. Mm -hmm. And we had a, a, a conversation about that. So I, mean, I, was also, I was not saying to him that even if you're not going to say, I stand with Cheto, I stand with Cheto, don't say that she's not, that she's lying. That she's lying. So that you can believe an imaginary true story that he hasn't even come out from the bench. Yeah. So that kind of thing hardly ever happens in the Instagram. Instagram comment section. Yeah. yeah. Um, like they say, Twitter is not for the faint-hearted, it's for the lion hearts. <laughs> so <laughs> if you don't have that strong heart, mm. you don't have to be on Twitter street because yeah. you will definitely get dragged. And, yeah. uh, and you'll be held and accountable. I, I want a lot of people to also know that in as much as people get dragged on Twitter, a lot mm. of people have built their brand. Hmm. Yeah. A lot of people have made positive impact on Twitter. A lot money. of people have found justice for those without voices yeah. on Twitter. And True. a lot of people have also done very great stuff on Twitter, so don't be discouraged by what a celebrity is saying. Just look at what they posted and what they got dragged for before you <laughs> conclude. No, really, that's what it is. So, um, but sadly, we have to go. But thank you for watching, and you can join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. You remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always will go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Nimi Dekombi. No for one is going to say that's me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ife Omai. Uh -uh. Nimi Dekombi. <laughs> for their contributions and the entire production team, thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. I am Ife Omai. Yes, that's me saying stay safe. <laughs>